Hi everyone, my name is Petar, I am one of the founders of Cluster and today I'm going to show you how to easily change your settings in provider application on your host PC. So once I go to demo.cluster.net and I download the provider application, after I unpack it, I will get a folder like this. So this is going to be a guide through cluster demo settings, which you can change inside this provider.ini file. So this contains information about your provider application. You shouldn't rename this file, and this file must be placed in the same folder as this provider.exe apl application, or it won't work. Now, if I want to change the settings, I open up this provider.ini file. And here I can see some of the settings that are set up in my provider. Let's go from the beginning. So ID is basically the provider access code that you need to give to gamer so they could connect to your PC. This ID will be randomized if I leave it empty. So let's just say I want to uh, run the provider. And now access code is going to be random. So it's 957. And now if I run the provider again, it's going to be a different provider access code but you can put it to be a permanent, for example, let's say 7777. And now I save the file and I go to provider.exe and now the provider access code is 7777. We suggest to change this ID if you're going to keep it permanent. So just change it from time to time when giving the ID to the multiple people. Socket server, you, just, you should just leave it as it is now, bitrate is very important for you to have a pleasant gaming experience. It may take some trial and error for you to figure out the best bitrate for yourself. However, the default bitrate that we've put is 4 megabits per second because we believe that this bitrate works the best with the average quality internet and it gives, uh, let's say, the overall best performances in regarding to latency and picture on a slow speed internet. So this is by default 4 megabits per second, which means that uh, your host PC will send at the maximum of 4 megabits per second uh, of data. So I can change this, for example, to 20 megabits or, for example, to 50 megabits per second. And uh, now I save the file and when I open up the provider.exe, you will see in the information that I have 50 megabits per second bitrate. You can see all of those settings that you, you, you're changing in provider.ini file, you can see them in provider.exe. Encoder is perhaps the most important part here, and this will determine if Cluster will use your hardware or software resources to run. If you own an NVIDIA graphic card, we suggest you use the NV encoder. If you don't own the NVIDIA graphic card, you may use WebRTC. WebRTC is software encoder, so actually, your PC is going to use the CPU to encode the image that is going to Gamer. You should as well use WebRTC at all times if the client is connecting with their mobile phone. And we don't recommend using CUDA, sorry CUDA. FPS is another important setting. We recommend you using 60, but you may try increasing it, for example, to 75 or uh, 90 or perhaps 120 and we don't recommend you going below 60. You can try with 45 or maybe 30 if you have a slow internet connection, but 60 is really the, uh, the golden zone where you want to be with your FPS. Frame scale basically used to change the output resolution of your stream, but changing it now won't affect anything because this is actually uh, obsolete in this version of the program. Rate control mode is also one uh, very important settings, and this will control how your data will be sent through the network in a simpler terms. We recommend using this uh, default CBR low delay HQ, but you can also use uh, CBR, CBR HQ, or uh, VBR, or VBR HQ, and we don't recommend you using this uh, constant QP mode. Mouse cursor is another setting that's also obsolete. This setting used to change the visibility of mouse cursor on the provider's PC and changing it now won't actually affect anything. This use cam will actually uh, disable your laptop camera if it's false and if it's true, it will enable your laptop camera. 
it's just uh, one of those settings that we wanted to test for ourselves to see if uh, there's any point in using it to see if there is if anybody's going to uh, make use of it and last but not least important setting is this gpu index and basically this will determine which gpu will be used to run cluster provider so we recommend you leave this empty and just save the file but if you have a black screen where connecting to a host pc you may change this to one or zero depending on um, how your GPU, how your best GPU is indexed. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. Once uh, I figure these settings out, I can just uh, run the provider after I save the file, after I save this provider at any file, have my access code. So I need to give this to Gamer for him to be able to connect to my PC. And you can see all of the settings that I've chosen for this session. And uh, yeah, basically uh, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, Hope you will enjoy Cluster.